Hello everybody, my name is Betty. Welcome back to the channel. And today I have a Q&A for you guys. I guess you could call it the 300k Q&A. Because today, literally 20, 30 minutes ago, I just hit 300k. Yes! Thank you! Thank each and every one of you that has subscribed. And if you haven't already, why don't you help me get to the million? Or the half a million, right? Let's make sure I don't get ahead of myself. But I have a feeling I'm gonna get there one day. Without further ado, let's just get into the questions. That's what's most important. The community. What do you guys have to say? First question is from Brie Edge, aka not Rat Edge. Rat number five, just to be exact. If you don't know why her name is that then uh, it's because you're not a sponsor. And if you want a sponsor, you can check the link down below because you know what? We got a bunch of cool guys over there. Girls and ghouls and gals and guys. So check it out. When are you going to upload the vlog from PAX? I don't know specifically yet because last weekend was PAX and this weekend I'm going to LA. So <laughs> it's kind of a crazy set of weeks. So I haven't started it yet and I don't think I will start it until I come back, but you can expect it a week to two weeks after I come back from LA. And there's gonna be vlogs from LA as well. So <laughs> get ready, cause it's gonna be a couple good freaking vlogs. I can't wait to edit them. Constorm Z asks, have you ever had your spaghetti touched? Well, I mean, to make the spaghetti, it needs to be touched. My mom makes me some spaghetti sometimes, so I guess, yes. Has it ever been touched without my permission? No, I don't believe so. I always, I always keep my eye on the spaghetti because I know people are out to get it. It's something that I hold near and dear to my heart. It's a personal spaghetti bowl. Don't let anyone touch it, all right? It's sacred. Roblox Master1234 says, how old is your YouTube channel and what is your favorite food? That's a twofer. You're lucky I like you, Roblox Master. My YouTube channel is three years old or four years old, actually. I made it in 2014, 2015. I forget exactly, but I'm gonna go with 15 because that sounds more right. 2015, I made it, but I didn't even start uploading on the channel until 2017, which is when I started making Roblox videos. Hasn't even been a full year yet. 300K. <laughs> what? How? I don't know, but I just have the best community ever. Thank you guys again. And what's my favorite food? I don't know. I like breakfast food. I, I had this morning actually breakfast food with Scoop and Sub Zero Extra Bite because he's living with me right now. Shh. Don't let anybody know. But we hanging out on the reg until we go to LA and then he has to go back to his homeland, which I will not specify, but it's really, really far away. SNB Basketball 21 says, Who was your first subscriber for your YouTube channel? Love you and your vids. Keep it up. Thank you. Thank you so much. Who was my first subscriber? I don't really know who my first subscriber was specifically. And I've actually tried to look and I don't know. But if I had to guess, it's either Snipples HD, Elijah, or Rift. I think it might be Rift. It just, it just, I really think it is. So hit up Rift on Twitter. Ask him if he was my first sub. Because I think he was. I think he was the OG sub. Not the sub, the sub. Ducky the Duck asks... Do you ever communicate with the pal, specifically the one and only little robot man, Sub-Zero x -Bite. Yes, I'm in close contact with him. If I walked out that door and took a left, I could slap him in the face if I wanted to, but I'm not going to because I'm a good person. Now, we're really, we're really close when we hang out. When he's away, it's kind of hard to keep talking to him. He's a busy man. I'm a busy man. So, you know, we keep it tight though. Legit. Like, uh, Emma asks, what's the most awkward thing you've d ever done in public? Uh, I don't really know. I don't really do a lot of awkward things in public. I try to stay away from that, especially like in vlogs. But I have to say that probably the most awkward feeling I've ever felt in public is trying to vlog with other people around. It's really distracting. It's really nerve wracking. Everyone will look at you because you have a giant camera in your face and you're talking to yourself. But I know that's just something I need to get over. And it's gotten better. Every vlog I do, I get more and more confident. So I'd have to say, you know, vlog pretty awkward. It feels awkward to you, but as long as you don't mess with anybody, nobody's really gonna care. Natalie, the sour slash the sweet, the sour patch kid. <laughs> Are you excited for your birthday? And what are you doing on that day? There's no plans for that day. I'm excited and I'm really not excited at the same time. I'm excited because, you know, it's my birthday. Everyone's gonna be like, happy birthday. I'm gonna feel special for a little bit. I'm not excited because I'm gonna be 20 and that is is too old. I'm no longer a teenager. Everyone's going to look at me and think that I'm a weird guy because I still make Roblox videos. But you know what? It's the natural order of things. We can't stop time. It is forever and always on the tick and the talk. So it's just how it is. No plans though. It's going to be a pretty lonely birthday. No party for Bandy or Scoop. Amy 
God, how do you always get in these? Probably because I picked the questions. <laughs> Did you eat all the chicken wings yet? No, I didn't eat all the chicken wings. Those chicken wings... <laughs> those chicken wings that she's referring to, we bought at PAX. Not at PAX, but like the, the weekend of PAX. We bought them. And uh, I still have them. I didn't eat all of them. I had some of them because they're really good. I think I'm going to have them for lunch today. Just kidding. I'm not. We're going to Five Guys. I forgot. I promise Sub. He's never had a, a burger because he's dumb. So we're going there instead. Maybe tomorrow. Depals.poop asks, are you planning to leave your hair long? I don't know. Should I keep it like this? Do you still like me when it's like this? I don't know. I kind of like it and I kind of don't because of this. It gets in the way all the time. And then I'm just fixing my hair the whole video. And then people think I'm stupid. So... I mean, let's take a poll on Twitter. And if you don't like my long hair, I'm just gonna shave my entire head. What do you like most about Coral? Asked Chicken Nugget. Uh, I've hung out with Coral in person for a week. I've watched his videos. I like his personality. He's a great person. Really nice. And a huge goofball. All those reasons, I dig him. Where's the collab, Coral? Where's the collab? Monty? Monty? Monty asks? I don't know even know. Is that your word? It's M-O-N-T-S-E. Monty? 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 She asks a question all the way from Italy. Just I don't know where you're from. Did you know you're a very good photographer? Look at this photo you accidentally took of my phone at PAX. Yes, I got my shadow, me holding the phone, their feet. What more do you want in a picture? Basically, it was the best picture I've ever taken in my life. You ever see my Instagram? This belongs on there. Send it my way. I want the original. Look, look at this. This is the old. Look at this. This is why I don't like long hair. Look at it. Just stay on the right side of my hair. Mick asks, what do you look forward to doing in LA? Well, we're doing a lot in LA. We're going to Coachella. We're going to Universal Studios or Disney. I, I don't know. I thought it was Disney at first, but now it's Universal. So probably, probably Universal. That's exciting. Even just seeing LA, even if we weren't even doing those things, I would still be so excited. So, you know... Needless to say, I am hype as heck. Let's go. LA, man. Whew. Angnes asks, if you were a snail, what would you do? I'd probably try and slither to the closest trash can and end my snail life. Because I, I would think back to when I was a human. Or, or maybe maybe I wouldn't even have thoughts because my brain's so small. Like They're like computers at that point. They're AI. They don't have any thoughts. They don't have feelings. That's my opinion on snails. So I wouldn't want to be a snail because I'm pretty positive they don't think about much. CookiesYT asks, why did you become a YouTuber? And if YouTube didn't exist, what would you do? I became a YouTuber because that's like a dream job. The opportunity arose and I was like, yeah, I'm taking it. That is awesome. Yeah, that's pretty much why. I've always had a passion to create and this is just an outlet for me to do that and make a living, which is extremely important. If you can love what you do, then it's not even work and it never feels like that to me. And if YouTube didn't exist, what would you do? Probably Twitch, maybe. I don't know what other opportunities would arise if YouTube didn't exist. Maybe streaming. I do like streaming. It's hard for me to do it in this house. When I move out, I'm going to do it so much more because I'll have my own internet and I won't need to worry about Elijah uploading, about interrupting my dad while he's trying to play video games. It's a mess over here in Scooch Industry Land, aka the best household. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe Twitch. Maybe I'd still be at Stop and Shop. That'd be great. Still in college? Ooh, learning all that stuff I don't need to know. Huh. <sighs> Can only imagine. Mary YT. All these YouTubers asking me questions, uh, you guys. What was your favorite year in school? Also, what was the worst year? My favorite year was probably senior year because I got away with everything. I barely did homework and my teachers loved me. And my brother too. We did zero math homework that entire year. How did I pass? I have no idea. In the worst year, uh, I don't know. The years in like middle school and elementary, I wasn't a popular kid, but I wasn't sad. I just really, I just didn't like school very much. I liked video games a whole lot more than school. Maybe that's why I'm doing what I'm doing now. I don't know. But definitely the connections me and Elijah made over the internet during those years is why we are who we are and why we're doing what we're doing. So the worst year to sum it up, I guess was elementary elementary was bad. I had no idea what life was. I didn't even know why I was looking at fractions, but they did not agree with me. Harsh asks, where are your parents? They're at work currently, but when I'm recording, they're usually at work or downstairs listening to us yell. <laughs> they're just happy that me and Elijah have such success on the internet now, and they're not worried, and neither are we, so it kind of works out. 
they just let us do our thing and they're great people. Kayla asks, what is your favorite part about PAX East? You know, my favorite part about PAX East, I don't think is the convention itself, but the people there. The people I get to see that I don't see for a year. People like Sub, I get to meet fans. That's awesome. And even run into other YouTubers that I've never met before. People I've never met, I get to finally meet. And that's why I like PAX East. Other than that, it's just kind of like waiting in lines. You get to play games sometimes. Usually if you're a content creator like myself, you have a better chance of getting into games. <laughs> and if you have a camera, whoo, they will ask you to play. This is not a joke. Story time real quick. I was walking with Sub, Amy, and my boy Snips. And one of the PAX employees there, I wouldn't call him an employee, but he, he ran a booth there. He came up to us and he saw my camera. Snips had a camera as well. He said, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you guys YouTubers? And I said, yes, because I am. And he's like, yo, you want to play our game? And literally, I mean, we had nothing else better to do. So we were like, sure. Literally, he kicked people off the game just so we could play it. <laughs> and I got some pretty good footage of us playing. It was really fun, but yeah, I just thought it, it was weird. They, they just want exposure for their game. I understand that. Uh, but man, if you want to get on those rides, just claim you're a YouTuber and boom. Not Mariam asks, if you can tell your younger self something, what would it be? I would tell my younger self, don't accept the situation you're in. Because when I was in Stop It Job, before Elijah got his opportunity to join the pals, I accepted my situation. Just being in a gas station, going to college, and deep down I hated it. But I mean, I just thought that's what I had to do because that's what everybody told me. You have to go to college, you have to work so you can pay off your debt. And I accepted that because, you know, life's hard, but it's a lot harder if you ignore the problems. I wasn't really ignoring issues, but I didn't know that I could be doing something like this and how successful I could be at doing something like this. So I guess that's what I would say to me and to you. You don't have to accept your situation if you hate it. You can always change where you're at if you put in the work. And that is the last question, a beautiful note to end on. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe. Because like I said, 300k, 400, it's coming fast. Better be here or be square. That's it for me, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Later!